Good day to you, and welcome back to Knights of the Old Republic. Ah, it's been a while, and I have no recollection of where I was. Oh, yes. I said I was going to do the stowaway thing, didn't I? Well, guess what? I lied. I want to get back to, um... I want to get back to doing stuff on Kashik. I want to get back to Jolie. I like Jolie. We've seen very little of Jolie as of yet, and I want to see more of Jolie. Bindo, to be precise. And let's see, who do I want to take with me? Uh, let's take Candorous. Who's in a sand people costume? Die! Yeah, what do you want? Oh. Your choice. I can't actually attack you. Damn. Is his name Photo Modo? Oh. Photo Medu. Like. Photo Modo, go Mariners! Yes, anyway, can I transit? Oh, I can transit back somewhere. Uh, anyway, if you're wondering why I don't remember any of this, it's mostly because I have been out for a while. As you may or may not know, the large gap between recording sessions being uploaded was because I was rushed to the hospital for emergency appendectomy. So, I've been out for a little while, I've been recovering from surgery and whatnot. But I can finally talk loud enough to, for my uh, microphone to pick it up again. So, might as well take advantage of that and post a video today. Yes. And we're running down the great, the, the great walkway, and isn't it lovely? I missed you, Kashik, I missed you so much that I could just bonk you on the head. That is what I would like to do. Unfortunately, you are headless. You are not nearly headless, like Nick. You are just headless. Let us be lowered down by go walking To the video. And let's see, where are we going? We could be going a number of places. There are quite a few branches. So let's arbitrarily pick one. Kudos if you actually know what that is. I love a good bit of traveling music, don't you? Yes. Green, blue, and purple. It's like the colors of the American flag. Yes, not much to say, just sort of killing things. And I want to be faster. Some wonderful commentary so far, to be sure. <laughs> Malfunction. My primary motivators are in good Error. Damage terminal. Playback causal malfunction. Playback. I don't get it. That merchant said there was salvage down here. We need Matten to work the sensors. Playback. When he gets back, we'll... Wait, I'm getting something. Oh good, it's Eli. Maybe he'll point us in the right direction. Playback. Eli, what are you... You got your money, you double-crossing snake. We had a deal. Hmm. Uh, what happened to you? Playback. I don't get it. That merchant... Uh, yes, Playback. you said that. You said that. You said that. Um, might as well... Shutting down. Primary... Make use of you. Ha ha. Ow. Stop it! Don't hurt me like that! That was mean! I don't like you anymore! You're mean! Is this real life? Ugh, this commentary is absolutely riveting to be sure. <laughs> oh, I should... 
make sure that Candorus is not wearing this, uh, sand people clothing. Because, uh, no, I'm not going to have him wear sand people clothing. I'm just not. Sure. It's not a viable option. Mostly because it actually has absolutely no um, defense whatsoever. Which means it doesn't make any sense to be um, wearing it. And for those of you who are wondering, I've actually... <laughs> I've actually gotten a number of comments um, to the effect of why am I wearing Jedi robes because, um, well, you can't see it right now, but Jedi robes only have a, um, they only have a defense bonus of three, and that's the best, that's the best robes, that's the master robes. Well, simply, I wear Jedi robes because wearing actual armor is restrictive on what force powers you can use. And I, w I like my force powers, I use my force powers. And they're all attacking me. Where the hell is Joe Lee? There he is. Looks a little far away to be doing any damage, but he seems to be doing damage. Also, um, just for the record, on the subject of Knights of the Old Republic, since that is in fact what we are playing, and I should probably be commentating more on that and less on how brilliant my lack of commentary is. Um, yesterday, I rediscovered something that I hadn't, I hadn't really given much thought to for the last two years. Two years ago, I found this thing on online called um, Kotor the Movie, Knights of the Old Republic the Movie, by uh, by Kevin SoCal 2K6. And, um, you know, the beginning of it was uh, a little rough around the edges, but you could tell he was, you know, getting more and more attuned to what he was doing the further on the project went. Like, with every ten minute installment, it was getting a little better and a little better and a little better. It, basically what it is, is making an independent project out of editing together scenes from this game with additional voice acting and such to make it more of a cinematic experience more of a watching than a playing thing and so it was actually really good and ended off really strong but it ended on a cliffhanger on Kashik. so like um... so it, I later figured out that it was actually supposed to be three installments, and I think I checked about a year ago and still no notable progress had been made on episode two. Well, I just checked yesterday, well, the other day, and episode two was finished about a month ago, and so I watched that. It is amazing. Like, the last 30 minutes of episode one and all of episode two are just incredible. So, any of you who are like, big Knights of the Old Republic buffs, you know, give this thing a watch. Like, if you're following along with the uh, story in my LP, don't watch Episode 2. I think Episode 1 is still okay to watch, just because he changes quite a bit of the Kashyyyk storyline from the actual game. But, yeah, I mean, if you... if you've got time on your hands... They're really good projects, and I eagerly await the third installment. Because... Candorous, you moron. Because, I mean, they're just really well done. Uh, and, yeah. So go check it out. I'll put a link to his uh, profile on the sidebar. And... Enjoy. Yeah. Anyway. Now the reason we're here. The shimmer of a repulsor field is visible before you. It stands in stark contrast with the foliage around it. There, you see? Beautifully subtle, isn't it? Nah. At least compared to the other circuit equipment dumped down here. It's only been here a short while, or the rookies would have disabled it. They wouldn't have had an easy time of it, though. Why place this thing here? But there are others, each blocking similar points on certain paths. It is all very calculated. 
very precise. It would have been effective if it hadn't relied on the creatures to be walking. Climbers don't have much trouble getting around it. And I care about this because... Just shut it down, why don't you? You aren't going to ask about it? A repulsor field in the woods and you have no interest? Well... Uh, okay, fine. Why did Zerka put this here? Well, I think it was an attempt to block the more dangerous carnivores from wandering freely. But it's not very effective. It limits us non-climbers, but the creatures of Kashuk are very adaptable. You'll see why when we reach your goal. Have you gone past it before? Yes, but I don't make a habit of it. The other side is genuinely dangerous. Okay. I trust you can get past it? I can manipulate it for a moment. Uh, let me see. How did the Zerg engineers do it? Ah, uh, there we go. Now, keep moving. These are the most dangerous depths of Kashuk. A few surprises wait for us, I'll wager.